Time to check in with meteorologist Ray Petlin. If uh, if one were tempted to eat outdoors tomorrow, Ray, would that uh, would that work? You'd want to do the early one, of course, for outdoors. We do have some rain coming in, but of course, like like Ken said, you want the early one because how can you have second dinner or even third dinner on Thanksgiving if you eat dinner at regular dinner times? For real, people, let's act like we've been here before. <laughs> now, now we have these clouds that are coming in here tonight. And uh, overall, these aren't going to cause any issues. We're going to keep it dry for the rest of tonight. But into tomorrow, we will see some rain trying to turn on. Temperature-wise, we have 39 degrees in Pittsburgh. Washington has 40 degrees, 39 Greensburg, 42 Newcastle, 39 Franklin. So temperatures in the 30s and 40s. And, and tonight, we're going to be seeing most of our temperatures dipping down in the middle of the night to 35 but those temperatures start to rise into the afternoon and evening uh, tomorrow back to the mid 40s. Now, this is with a cold front pushing in, and that cold front has notably colder temperatures behind it, and that is going to set us up for some snow. So what are we looking at over the next 24 hours? Temperatures dip down into the mid 30s about 3, 4 a.m. By 6 a.m., we're back into the lower 40s, so that's good news for you turkey trotters. Into the afternoon, 2 p.m., first dinner time, you're looking at some showers. 6 p.m., second dinner time, you're still looking at that on and off rain, but most of that will be pretty light. And looking at the next several days, check this out. We go from 44 tomorrow, 10 degrees colder on the high end of the temperatures for Friday, and then we stay in the 30s all the way through Tuesday of next week. So it will be a colder setup that takes over. And right now it's looking like mainly rain. The extreme back edge of this system does have a little snow trying to show up back over here, left-hand side of your screen. A uh, little snow trying to show up at the end. That's a sign that that colder air is starting to interact with the back edge of the system. And when it comes to uh, the setup we have over the... Uh, Next couple of days, we're looking at that rain to take over tomorrow afternoon. Uh, you'll see a few showers trying to develop around 6, 7 a.m. up north. Those will be spotty. The more widespread rain comes in afternoon and sticks with us. And most of this will be on the lighter side. But it's early Friday where this starts to transition to snow. And we are going to see these snow showers with us for Friday morning especially up into the ridges and north of I-80, where that snow could linger a little bit. But the bulk of it's early on. Most of us are going to see little to no accumulation. And to be honest, most of this is melting on contact. We had some sunshine today and mild temperatures, mild temperatures and rain tomorrow. So that snow is not going to have much to stick to uh, once it does start to fall. But up in the ridges, you could get a little bit up towards I-80. You might see a little accumulation out of the deal. Tonight, 35 degrees, mostly cloudy, not as cold. A little bit of a breeze going on there. And tomorrow, 44. Again, mainly rain for the afternoon and evening. So the outside part of your day, the earlier, the better. If you're doing the turkey trots or doing the turkey bowls, playing some football outside, do it earlier in the day. Now, when it comes to the forecast for tomorrow, you can see it's uh, between uh, 2 a.m. or I'm sorry, 7 a.m. and noon where we have the driest weather. It's the afternoon where things start to get a little more damp. And then Friday, if you're doing any of the shopping, we're going to be seeing our best shot for some snow early on. And then into the later parts of the day, we're going to be getting those temperatures uh, trying to uh, find their way into the... Uh, Mid-30s for highs, that's about it into Friday. Saturday, Sunday, upper 30s. And then next week, you're going to see temperatures try to get back towards 40 again by Wednesday.